I've been dreaming of going to Oaxaca for over four years and finally was able to do so this year. I first learned of Oaxaca through Instagram where I saw a photo of the Herve El Agua waterfalls. Then I learned about Dia de los Muertos and the movie Coco came out. I tried to go, but due to other circumstances, I didn't make it in previous years. Then COVID hit. This year, I booked flight tickets a few months prior and had no idea if I would be able to go with work, but I knew I had to finally make it there this year, so I did. Come to Oaxaca with me for Dia de Muertos, Day of the Dead. After a long day of traveling, we made it to Casa Angel Hostel. I booked a private room and was excited for the hostel events like salsa night the first night we arrived and to meet other fellow travelers. There are already so many people in Oaxaca, lots of decorations, music, and parties going on already. We went to a mezcal bar called Los Amantes Mezcaleria, and it was so much fun. There was live music and everyone was dancing. The vibes were immaculate. We got to try Chapulines grasshoppers for the first time. Buenos dias! We're in Oaxaca, Mexico today. It's our first day. We're walking to the markets, Mercado Benito, Benito Juarez. We really don't have an agenda. There's, mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of streets here that are just full of activity or quiet. It's kind of just a pick and choose type of journey that we're doing. It's choose your own adventure day. The Day of the Dead doesn't really start until tomorrow. So today we're walking around and come along on our journey. <laughs> <laughs> so for our choose our own adventure day we're exploring the town and going to the markets to eat We tried so many local Oaxacan street food, and I'll have to make a separate video diving into all the foods we ate. We tried different mezcal and bought a bottle for tonight's festivities. Next, we walked over to the town next to Oaxaca for our Airbnb walking and history tour. I highly recommend going on a walking tour when you arrive at a new city, so you can learn more about the place you're in and get some insider tips from a local. Because we are going to sacred and was feminine. That name was Mexico. Mexico, or Mexico, as should be pronounced. We ended up at the Centro Gastronomico, which houses a bunch of restaurants in this one plaza alone. After our dinner, the parades were starting. We were watching the parades and somehow got pulled in and became a part of the parade. This was so much fun and one of the highlights of the entire trip. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there is human traffic everywhere. Transmisión especial. Ya en la cabina estamos instalados en la Bohemia. Así que a continuación. We went back to the hostel for a mezcal tasting event. Can you tell that we are drinking and tasting mezcal a lot on this trip? Adentro. Adentro. 
I hope you are a fan of Mezcal because the Mezcal is phenomenal in Oaxaca. We ended up going out with our hostel crew and ended our night at Zala Partas, watching the live music band. This is my favorite day. We booked a tour to go to Herve El Agua, the place that has been on my bucket list for years. I'll also make another video just on this tour itself because it was a huge decision for us to decide whether to book a tour or to go on our own. I'm really glad we booked a tour. There's a ton of people. Once we got back to our hostel, we showered, got ready, then met up with our new friends to go to Hoho Catlan Cemetery for the first night of Dia de Muertos. Try to go around 8 p.m. as that's when the local families go, and some of the cemeteries actually close around 11 p.m. We brought marigold flowers, a bottle of mezcal, some shot glasses from the hostel, and took a cab to the cemetery. We shared our mezcal with the locals and laid flowers on the graves that weren't as decorated as much as the others. I highly recommend that when you go, you too buy marigold flowers and mezcal to share with the locals there. I loved how this culture and this tradition is all about celebrating the dead. There's music and festivities and how welcoming the locals were with all the tourists like myself. We noticed that none of the locals had their faces painted and it was just tourists that did. But it didn't seem like it was frowned upon so I do think it is up to you. But we erred on caution. We ended up trading mezcal with locals. They made fun of the mezcal we bought at the market, saying that it wasn't good and that we got gypped on the price. They gave us some of their mezcal and it was definitely so much better than the bottles we bought. I will never forget this night. It was just so magical and I'm so grateful to partake in such a beautiful tradition. We slept in this morning so we missed the hostel breakfast, but went to a cafe instead and spent the day filming a TikTok video for Lonely Planet. I'm Felisa and I'm in Oaxaca for Dia de Muertos. Then we headed off to lunch at Tika Aya. I made lunch reservations weeks ago. I highly recommend you make a reservation as well through their Facebook page. I'll go into more details about the food in my next video, but man, the food and service are impeccable. Then we went to a mezcal bar to buy mezcal for tonight. We made sure not to buy it from the market this time. Then we went to get our faces painted. This is what we wanted versus how it turned out. I love it. What do you think? Tonight, our plan is to join in on Dia de Muertos parties, parades, dance, and meet up with our friends. <laughs> So many people recommended Selva Cocktail Bar, so we decided to pop in and got so lucky with the table on the balcony. So we got to watch the parades from up top, which was so cool. There were fireworks and the drinks were very unique. We missed our hostel breakfast again, but we found a rooftop cafe instead. We walked around and then went to lunch at Casa Taviche, which was so, so good. For the rest of the day, we went to art galleries, checked out all the ofrenda altars, and did some shopping. Tonight, there were even more parades. This one was a big special parade where different towns came to Oaxaca City, so they're showing off their town's culture. It was so cool and everyone looked so amazing.
Then we walked by a mezcal bar that looked awesome, so we went in for a mezcal tasting. Out of all the mezcal tastings we've done, I think this one is my favorite one. It was just super clear. There were pictures. It was easy to follow and understand. Then we had two super late dinners because we did a walk-in to Los Danzantes and weren't sure if we were going to get a table. So we went to Tacos de Lechon and got some tacos, which were so delicious. I got six of them. After we finish the tacos, we get a text saying that our table is ready. So we go. However, we got food poisoning here. So don't get the octopus chicharron tacos. And I just checked and it's actually not on the menu anymore. Thank goodness. Parades and parties are still going on, but alas, we gotta go because we're flying to Puerto Escondido on the craziest little bus in the sky propeller plane. Stay tuned for the next episode on whether or not we make it to Puerto Escondido. See you soon! <laughs>